So we're gonna react to something different, but quite similar to fashion as such. We're gonna react to Virgil Abloh's uh, statement or kind of like documentary type. And the title goes as Virgil Abloh is saving luxury with t-shirts and rest in peace, great legend, amazing work. Literally shifted the whole dynamic on how we see luxury and how people actually engage with luxury as such. A lot of uh, new entrepreneurs started their t-shirt companies and then hoodie companies and then started on to build their luxury labels or not not even luxury labels, just streetwear just because of him. Um, his inspiration was amazing to the culture and to to anyone who was actually trying to start up their own companies. We're gonna react to this and we're gonna see what he has to say. I'm a big fan of Virgil's work and I'm always inspired to kind of see what he has to say. As an architecture student, like I had a professor that said, I didn't He's have the pedigree uh, he did or ideas well. or skill set to sort of work in any sort of important context. So every no is perfect for me. I thrive off a no. Off-white is sort of my resume and mood board for an actual idea that I have for like the modern luxury brand. It's a, it's almost like a laboratory. For me, it's like my teenage years is the foundation for everything that I've sort of done afterward. I'm gonna try to replicate what, uh, however he has said at his office. Um... Like I'm moving to another apartment and I'm going to have a whole lobby area just similar to that because my bedroom is going to be separate but similar I'll do a, a tour as well but I'm going to try to replicate how he have presented um, this area or I think this one uh, this office is in Milan I'm going to try to replicate not replicate but try to actually have similar concept like separating your mood board and having the design boards and everything i'll try to make that in my office oh that's gonna be interesting i was just like an average sort of suburban kid that was skateboarding listening to nirvana beastie boys rap wu-tang like you say the music i listen to nirvana not the other guys, so, no. As I started thinking about clothing, I was always like drawn to what my initial interest was, and that was t-shirts. Milan, For it's off white. One day we're going to have office over there as so well. We take a young idea of streetwear, this idea that t-shirts and hoodies are important, but making that in the same factories as uh, luxury houses. So that's why we're in Italy. This is men's. That's kind of the dream. You gotta be uh, in the spaces where you want to go, right? He, he knew that he wanted to uh, take off white from just the streetwear off, off into uh, like Milan shows and Paris shows and actually build a uh, luxury house or luxury not house, but luxury brand as such. And he did it successfully, and just because of that, he tried because he had a vision, and he tried to shift his energy towards that. He uh, went to Milan and actually set up his office and company over there. That's kind of the dream. Team working on pre-collection uh, next should season. Shoes are happening in the back. This is women's room. I just moved to this newer space because the the concept is growing. How's it going? New office. <laughs> it's nice in here. But I have no desk in the world. <laughs> I travel probably like 320 days a year. Eight flights a week. Chicago, Frankfurt, Milan, London, Berlin, Stockholm, Rotterdam, Amsterdam, Vegas, and LA. <laughs> it's a lot. I work on the street, literally, like phone in hand. I feel like Off-White might be one of the truly first sort of like luxury brands that's been just built from social media. 
It behaves in this sort of hybrid in between a traditional system and a new system, as in streetwear, that clothes just come out at different times, they're posted on Instagram, and consumers can buy them. And I'm interested in that hybrid in between them both. You know, I'm directly pointed at this generation that hasn't been messaged luxury to yet. As an off-white sort of look, you know, I'm looking to put this with like a t-shirt and jeans, perhaps. This millennial young person, they love to covet things. They're sort of waiting for a designer that's sort of face to them. I want to make a modern version of her wedding dress. I like this, you know, I like seeing the shoulder. I love this idea that Off-White can go from like a study on graphic t-shirts hmm. all the way to a wedding dress under this sort of muse that I've dictated for the season. This current collection that I'm developing, choosing Princess Diana as the muse, is sort of this resonance. Mm. <laughs> it's super like that's young that's Diana. Thing, eh? Yeah, I couldn't be happier. It looks like the sketch. Can you walk? This is always what I wanted to do, you know? And no one does it. A couture meets street, but people say it all the time. I've had the fortunate ability to sort mm. of craft my own path. You know, people ask me all the time, do you feel some sense of like achievement or fulfillment? And the answer is zero. I have no, there's no feedback loop that's like, yes. That is I'm true. I'm only interested in like making new things. Because like, you're always intrigued how you can improve, the next right? idea. Exactly. I think bell bottoms are going to come back. Because everyone has in their closet skinny jeans, boyfriend jeans. I also like for women, let's buy Dickies. Girls in Dickies pants. Crocs. I have to say, it's one of the amazing, literally one of the best designers that actually uh, gave a lot of information to young designers, young entrepreneurs, as such. But every time I actually go on to look a particular video or not just videos, any designs that he did, it literally inspires me to do work in a, in, in, in really creative ways so that I can actually build systems or build uh, products that are unique and that have a lasting imprint to the audience and I think I'm, I, I, I literally am uh, thankful for Virgil's contribution to the industry as such. But let me know what you think about this video, how he just from off of the t-shirts, he built this huge company and now everyone, literally everyone knows about Off-White. And let me know what you think about it and I'll catch you in the next show.